planning to visit Belgrade? Excellent! It's got a wild party scene, exciting architecture, and hearty food. In Belgrade, brutalism meets quaint architecture. Tradition meets modernity, and East meets West. Some 1.7 million people live here. Belgrade is divided by the Sava and Danube rivers, separating the old city from new Belgrade district. Here are our top three tips. If you're into brutalist architecture, look no further. Belgrade has plenty. The name of this architectural style derives from the French béton brut, or raw concrete. Though not everyone likes this style, more and more people appreciate its authentic retro charm. You'll find many brutalist buildings in New Belgrade district. It's easily reachable by bus from the city centre. Though be warned, Belgrade public transport isn't the most punctual. Gen X Tower, completed in 1980, when Belgrade was still the capital of socialist Yugoslavia, is a brutalist landmark. It houses offices and apartments. Goran Miljush has lived here on the 24th floor for 25 years. He's puzzled why busloads of brutalism fans arrive each summer. I don't know why, <laughs> because it is not, um, you know, nice, like the floors, like uh, around. But up top, it's quite something. Because of the view, you know. You have all the Belgrade, uh, like here. <laughs> in the evenings, locals and tourists flock to Skadarska Street in the old Bohemian Quarter. Here you'll find traditional restaurants, bars and live music. We recommend Duva Yelena, or the Two Deer restaurant. Here you can get Kara Georgieva schnitzel, a Serbian speciality, which is breaded and deep-fried veal and kaimak cheese, a hearty treat. This dish can be found everywhere in Belgrade and costs around 10 euros. Salty and um, crunchy and very fatty. I love it. There's a lot of fat and salt and it's exactly what I need right now after this long day. Jibili. Don't miss out on the nightlife when you're in Belgrade. The city has a huge selection of clubs and bars. They're super cheap too, and many don't even charge an entrance fee. Like Jatinska 15, a former brewery complex in central Belgrade. There are several different venues here with at least one party or concert on every night. Locals can probably recommend a few good party locations too. This whole thing you need to see because there are a lot of different cafes that are like having different vibes. There's so much diversity in nightlife. There's so many places to go out, every kind of music, every kind of place. If you are casual, go casual. If you like uh, to be dressed, go dressed. Uh, it depends what are, what are person you are. There are lots of really cool places, but it's maybe kind of hard to find, so like ask locals, or people from around here. I definitely come to Belgrade, there's a lot of things to see and you should see it. Sightseeing, check. Good food, check. And partying, check. Have fun in Belgrade. For more travel tips, follow our channel, DW Travel.